Let's get started. So the back seats were essentially stripped. I removed the two back seats. And as you can see, I filled it in with plywood. I think this is half an inch. My dad had some uh, spare sheet, which was more than enough to completely cover the front side as well as the trunk in the back here. The frame itself was fairly simple. All I used was the sheet of wood and one piece of two by four. I used about maybe six feet in total to kind of keep this piece from shaking, keep it sturdy. And then while doing this, I found a piece of this metal bar that just kind of keeps both the uh, both the pieces of plywood sturdy. I don't think it was very necessary, but again, it was there in the garage when I was putting the whole thing together. So it kind of keeps it from being two separate pieces. Let me just show you guys how the bed looks like completed. So the first thing I added on top of the plywood was a memory foam pad. This one, I believe, is a twin size. If it's, if it's perfectly on the edges here, there's a little bit of space on the side, but I don't really use that when I sleep. This is a good size. I would say it's about six feet long. This is the piece that goes beneath the memory phone. It adds an extra layer of cushion. And on top of the memory foam pad, I have the memory foam itself. This piece was a little bit wider so I had to customize it by just cutting around the edges to fit around the uh, siding. All I did to cover the memory foam was I used an extra bed sheet that I had laying around. I uh, used that as the covering piece for all of it. On top of this I place uh, two blankets usually 